Hi, I am Cosimo. Today, I will test the latest features of Sim for Life version 4.4, which were specifically developed for the design and optimization of neurostimulation devices and to perform accurate placement and treatment planning in patients. In a groundbreaking collaboration that was recently published in the journal Nature, Sim for Life was used to design targeted spinal cord stimulation technologies to enable voluntary locomotion in three patients with chronic paraplegia, thanks to precise electrical stimulation of their spinal cords via a wireless implant. In this video, we will show the workflow of designing and optimizing spatially selective electrical stimulation with Sim for Life, as done in this study. The goal here is to optimize the excitation trains to selectively stimulate the S1 left sacral nerve. This nerve supplies different muscles throughout the leg and foot, and in particular controls ankle movements. Medical images can be directly imported into Sim for Life, and relevant anatomical structures can be extracted. The resulting geometries can then be freely modified and prepared for the simulation. Neuron fiber trajectories and structures are, are then added and combined with biophysical models of membrane dynamics. The geometrical model of the electrode is then placed as close as possible to the targeted neurons. We want to determine a patient-specific configuration of the voltage patterns at the different contact electrodes in order to stimulate the targeted specific spinal nerves while avoiding stimulating others in order to trigger required motion. Using the combination of sim life electromagnetics and neuronal dynamics solvers, together with a multi-goal parameterization and optimization framework, the design problem is defined as an automatic multi-parameter optimization. The design variables defining the parameter search space are the time-varying voltage modulation levels at each contact electrode. The objective function to be optimized is constructed from the outputs of analysis tools that evaluate the selectivity of the stimulation within a large number of nerve fibers. The relative weighting of the individual terms of the objective function specifies the fibers that should and those that should not respond to the stimulation. The evolution of the optimization results can be visualized in real time. The result of the optimization procedure is a set of parameters that maximizes the selectivity of the stimulation. The electromagnetic fields leading to the highly selective stimulation are extracted and visualized. Action potentials propagating along the targeted fibers are nicely visualized in 3D. The location of the initial spike is also highlighted. Given the flexibility of sim for life and its optimization framework, additional parameters can be easily added. For instance, device placement, electrode shapes and relative positioning, and other stimulation parameters can be included in the list of design variables. This video demonstrated a small part of the power of neurostimulation modeling and optimization with sim for life and its potential for personalized modeling and treatment planning in the field of neuromodulation, in this example, to restore mobility of paralyzed patients. Thank you for watching the video.